we often hear about prenuptial agreements and the postnuptial agreement that is also becoming pretty well known. Attorney Brian Cook is joining us to break down the differences and telling you if it's something you might want to consider. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Sadly, not every marriage is happily ever after. So let's start with the prenup. What is it and who should consider it? What do couples have to agree on? Prenup is a contract between intended parties, spouses, uh, before their marriage. Uh, they generally want to segregate their non-marital assets going into the marriage in the event that the marriage ends in a divorce. They also, some of and prenups want to address the alimony issue, the alimony component. Uh, after a party gets married, then the non-marital asset may be enhanced in value, so the prenup agreement will also address the enhancement uh, factor oh, I of, see. The, of the asset. You really need an attorney to consider all of this. Are you seeing younger people do this? We're seeing younger people. One of the reasons why younger people are coming uh, to see us is because they're getting married later on and they're accumulating wealth and they recognize that um, marriages are frail and so they want to avoid the divorce issue so they address the issues um, in the prenup. Do you do this if you're not wealthy? You may do it if you're not wealthy. People though uh, don't see it as much uh, and see a lawyer as much in addressing a prenup or a postnup agreement. You touched on it but if the money and everything is, is separate already or not separate maybe, let's say if your money's not separate, do you need a prenup? Are you the rules different? You should have a prenup going into the marriage if you have wealth because the reason is that the asset that you bring into the marriage will change during the course of the marriage. If you have a business prior to oh, the marriage okay. and then the business becomes more substantial after the marriage, the prenup will address what happens to the growth and the enhancement of that asset during and the marriage. We've got less than a minute, but a postnup. A postnup is an agreement, and uh, by definition, it's an agreement that follows uh, the time of the marriage. Uh -huh. The postnup agreement is often arises where something happens during the marriage. If an individual who's married receives an inheritance, an inheritance is non-marital oh, if you I keep see. it separated, but they want to avoid the issue of it being commingled. Uh, so, I mean, the individuals, some of the things that individuals should consider is that they should have separate attorneys uh, because they want an arm's length transaction, they want it to be f uh, full disclosure, financial disclosure, and there should be communication between the parties. Sounds like you maybe want to talk to an attorney uh, before you get married about these things. But Abs absolutely. But not only should you talk to an attorney, the spouses or the, uh, the party should speak with each other. Good, good point. Yeah. Very good point. We're going to talk about alimony next week when you Great. come back next week. Thank you week for having me.